So now that we've seen how to add resources into our schedule, it's time to look at the numerous different ways that we can assign resources to tasks. So let's start out by assigning resources to tasks in the Gantt chart view with the entry table. Now, currently you can see the entry table. If I grab the divider just here and drag this across a little bit, it's going to reveal another column underneath, which is the resource names column. And this is where we can see any resources that are currently assigned to our tasks whether that be a work resource, a material resource, or a cost resource. So we can directly assign resources to specific tasks from this column. So if we take a look at task number four here, send outline to training team for review, that's going to be a task that is completed by the training team lead. So all we need to do is click the drop down arrow in the resource names, and we can see all of our resources just here. So I can select training team lead, and if I wanted to, I can select more than one, click away, and that is one way to assign a resource to a task. Really straightforward. Now, if I take a look at the task below, update course outline, I can see that I've got this assigned to the training team lead. Now, this is actually going to be done by the IT trainer because the training team lead in the previous task has sent the outline to the training team. So let's click the drop down. I'm going to remove this resource by deselecting and select IT Trainer and click away. Now the next task, task number six, is again going to be completed by the IT Trainer. So what I can actually do is copy the resource name to the cell below. If we hover our mouse over the corner of the cell above until we get that little crosshair and then simply drag down, it's going to copy that resource assignment. So that is method number two for assigning resources quickly. Now the next task, approving the outline, that's going to be done by the training team lead. So let's take a look at the third method we can use for assigning resources. We can do it from the assign resources dialog box. So I'm going to make sure I have the task selected in the entry table. Let's jump up to the resource tab and assign resources. So now we get this little assign resources dialog box and notice at the top here where we have resource list options. If we click the plus, this allows us to filter any of our resources below. So I could choose to filter by all resources or specific resource categories. Like maybe I just want to see all of the material resources. If I select that from the drop down, I'm just going to see those. It's worth noting that we can also filter by resources and the amount of hours that they're available to work. Now to assign a resource, we simply need to scroll through the list. I'm going to find IT trainer and then we just need to click on assign. If I need to assign more people, I can simply go through, select and click assign again. And if I want to select multiple resources from this list, I, I can simply hold down control and then click assign. Now, another way that we can assign resources is by using the task form. So let's go to the task tab. We're going to click the drop down underneath Gantt chart and switch across to task form. So now we can see all of the resources. We can simply click in resource name and select a resource from the drop down list. So I'm going to add the training team lead as well. And then when I click on the OK button, you can see it automatically fills in the units, which is 100%, which means 100% of the training team leads time is going to be dedicated to this task. And then we can see some of the other costs listed out here. Now I'm going to switch back to Gantt chart view very quickly and let's scroll down towards the bottom just here. Now I'm going to go to the venue section and where we have book venue just here, I'm going to assign another resource and this time it's going to be a material resource. So let's go back into task form view. I can see that I've got two resources assigned to this. Let's click underneath and I'm going to add the sandwiches resource. So when I book the venue, I want to make sure that we have some kind of lunch organized for the delegates. And we're going to need a few sandwiches here. So I'm going to request that we have two packs of sandwiches. So I'm going to type two into the units column and notice what happens when I click on OK. It adds the material label, in this case, two pallets of sandwiches, and it also updates the costs. So I can see that two pallets of sandwiches is going to cost $60. Now, the final way that we can add resources is via the task tab 
and the information button. So if we click on information and go to the resources tab, we can start adding in resources in here as well. So we just select them from the drop down and enter in the units if required. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.